You may be seated, Israel. We have some reading from Zakain Benamin Ibash. He's going to present to us a summary of why we are here, Israel, and the purpose of this time. Hallelujah. Zakein. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israel, we give us a little understanding of the reason of Jehovah. Where Yehua, Leviticus 23 and 15, it says that you count to you from tomorrow after the Sabbath. This is after the celebration, the feast of the unliving bread. We begin to count of seven Sabbaths. But from the day that you are about the shaft of the wave often, seven Shabbats that we should count from Israel. Where Yehua, Leviticus 23 and 16 said, even tomorrow, after the Sabbath, yes. you should number 50 days and you should offer a new meat grain offering to Yahweh. Well, what are you talking about, Abba Yahweh? We want to know. Hallelujah. This is the meat offering in Yokohan, John 4 and 34. Right. Yeshua said to them, My meat is to do the will yes. of him that sent me and to finish his work, Yisrael. That is the meat that y'all wants to give up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, Yerah Leviticus 23 and 17 tell us to bring out of your dwelling places two wave loads of two tent deal. Yeah. There should be a fine flour. Mm -hmm. There should be a bacon with leaven. Mm -hmm. They are the first fruit unto Almighty Yahweh. Yes. The two waves, what do they represent, Israel? The two waves. Those represent here in Matthew 22 and 38. This is the first. And not only is it the first, what else is it, Yahweh? It's the great commandment. And the second is like to it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, Israel. And on these two hang all the Torah and the prophets. Where Yura 23 and 18 said, You shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year, and one young bullock and two rams. That should be for a burnt offering to Yahweh. With their meat offering and their drink offering, even as an offering made by fire. And what, Yahweh? Of a sweet. Save unto Almighty Yahweh. The seven lambs, Abba Yahweh, are representing what Abba Yahweh? Yahshua, Isaiah, Lament 2 says, And the Ruach of Yahweh shall rest upon him. The Ruach of wisdom, oh, we need that, Abba Yahweh. Understanding. The Ruach of Counsel, oh, counsel us tonight, Abba Yahweh, and the might of Ruach of Knowledge, and most of all, the fear of Almighty Abba Yahweh. And with years of 23 and 19, then you shall offer one kind of the goats for a sin offering, and two lambs of the first year for the Shabbat of Shalom offering. I sin offering. Yokohan? Three and five said, and you know yes. that Yahshua manifested to take away yes, all of our sins. Yes. And in him was no sin, Yisrael, yes. to give us the right yes. to his Hashemayim. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Leviticus 20, 23 and 20. And the Kohan shall wave them with the bread of the first fruit. For a wave offering before Yahweh. And the two lambs, there shall be Kodesh, Kodash, Yahweh for the Kohan. But listen, Israel, y'all. Yokohan 16 and 33. The bread of Yahweh, which come down to the Hashemayim and give us life to this world. Then said to him, Yahshua evermore give us the bread. Yahshua said that I am the bread of life. And he that cometh to me shall never hunger, Israel. He that believes on me 
shall never thirst. Oh, give us a drink tonight, you know, yeah. Where you're Leviticus 23 and 21, and you shall proclaim that same day that it may be a Kodesh convocation unto Yahweh. And you shall do no some of our work therein, and it shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generation. You should say, God, remember it always. Then you dread your purpose for this day is with the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one accord in one place, Israel. Yes. And what happened? Abba Yahweh, what did you do to your people? And suddenly there came a sound from the high Shemaiah. Yes. Because they were all one accord. Yes. The mind was on one thing. Yes. To receive from Almighty Yahweh. Yes. Of the high Shemaiah was on rushing mighty wind. Hallelujah. What did it do? To them up of Yahweh, and they filled all the house Hallelujah. where they were set. And there appeared to them divided tongue like fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all, not one, not two, and they were all filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. And they began to speak with other tongues, and the Ruach gave them utterance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In my last verse, Israel, Leviticus 23 and 22. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not make clean riddance of the corners of your field. When you reap it, neither shall you gather any gleaning of your harvest. You shall leave some to them that are poor, to the strangers. I am Yahweh your Abba. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Luke 4 and 18 said, The Ruach of Yahweh is upon me. And because he has anointed me to preach the message to the poor, he has sent me to heal the broken heart with his Dabah, his word, to preach the deliverance to the captive, that they may be free, Israel, recovering of the sight to the blind. Hallelujah. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Oh, oh yes, Abba Yahweh. To preach the acceptable year, which is now unto Abba Yahweh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now the king, your Romeo, Israel, y'all, will come and speak to us. Hallelujah, told that, yeah. Hallelujah. Well, just as Zakain Benamin spoke unto us, Yisrael, to the point with energy, a sound truth, Yisrael, even telling us concerning even the meat. Hallelujah. That it is to do the will of Almighty Yahweh. That should be our meat offering unto Almighty Yah. You know, this is a time of abundance, a time of great wealth and gathering of the fruits of the Pilat unto Almighty Yahweh, the Puri. Yeah. Yeah. So we as a people must bring that which is first, the firstling unto Almighty Yahweh, of that which has been planted in our bosom, Yisrael. His word, his seed, he said he has put it and he has inscribed, written it, and I love Yisrael. Did he put that there, Yisrael, not to receive an abundance of the precious zeros of the seed that he gave only unto the house of Yisrael? He's expect us to be caretakers of it. Just as Adam was in the garden to take care of those plants there. It was his duty. It was his responsibility. Even to the sweat of his brow, Yisrael. So what have we done with that which Yahweh has given us? Have we nurtured it? Have we tilled the ground? Have we weeded the rows? Have the seed which has been planted in us yield forth the precious and the, the plants, the growth of Almighty Yahweh, that at this time, from the bearing of those fruits, that we could bring to him the first, the first of the offering. It's not just in the much. He looks for the abundance. 
But he also desires the first Israel. Do you not know that he has given us of his firstborn? His Mitzvah, his Torah, his Dabar, Yahshua HaMashiach. And in him were everything that we need, Israel, to sustain us. Have we put back of that which Yahweh has given us in our harvest and our reaping, that there will be plenty in the storehouse? Yahshua is our storehouse, Israel. Yahweh has given him everything that we need, that we may endure these last times, Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To be honest, Israel, I don't know which way I should go tonight. But I do have a direction, and I know that it will end up in the place that Yahweh desires. Once we start on this path of Siddiq of righteousness, it is a straight and narrow path. We don't veer to the left. We don't veer to the right. But if we would stay in the straight and narrow way, it is by the foot of Yahweh, by his feet, he leads us, Yisrael, through his Torah. So if I was to give this somewhat of a, a name tonight, it would be the fullness of Milo. The fullness of Yah. Yes. He has given us of his fullness, the essence of who he is, Yisrael, and Yahshua HaMashiach. So do you think that he will desire or expect anything less of his people, no, sir. As of us as a nation, no, sir. individually, and as a whole? No, my friend. He desires the first fruits of yes. all of our labors, Yisrael. So let me somewhat describe this word fullness, Amilo. Yeah. It is that which feels. Have we come to be filled, Yisrael? Yeah. Don't we desire the Ruach of Yahweh to pour out his Ruach upon us? Yeah. If we have all have come here with one mind, yes. with one thought, with one heart, yes. one eye, then he will pour out his Ruach upon us. Yeah. And he will fill us, Yisrael. So there is no more room of his Ruach to fill these bodies. So is that which feels, it is fullness of even an example, a handful, pouring maybe a handful of wheat, as much as you can hold, to its fullness capacity. It also means a mass or multitude of the entire content, coal, all. There's nothing left out. Yahweh, he is not leaving, or he has not left Yisrael without. He has not left us short, Yisrael. He has fulfilled his Torah yeah. in the lives and in the hearts of Yisrael through Yahshua HaMashiach. So that is what this great time, this event is for, Yisrael. It's the abundance of Yahweh which he has given. That which we have planted, are we not harvesting from our garden? We bringing it into the storehouse. We're putting it back, we're eating of the abundance of the gardens, yet Yahweh said, but I want the first fruits. I want the perfect fruit. I want that which is put forth first out of the vine. Don't you know, from every man, there is that which has been given first of him and his Ishaw, a son or a daughter. There's a firstborn, born once they become one, Yisrael, a seed is conceived. And they bring forth child. Don't you know Yahweh has brought forth child. He has brought forth his Ruach, his Torah in each one of us tonight, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Just as he given us of his bosom, Yahshua HaMashiach. Even at that time, Yisrael, when the offerings were brought to the house of Yisrael. Concerning, and I will get to that, of even the high priest or what the coin of Almighty Yahweh. Even concerning the Levites and even the house of Israel, those that brought forth the offerings that were to be offered unto Almighty Yahweh. And I will get into that in this teaching tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh is tough and his mercy they endure forever, Israel. Let me start here. In Exodus chapter 22, verse... 18. Let me begin there in verse 18. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there are certain things that we should not suffer to live, Yisrael, yeah. just as in a garden, the natural garden. When we plant seeds, whether it's lettuce, carrots, okra, tomatoes, watermelons, whatever you plant, 
There are always other plants that try to come up out of the ground. The weeds. Hallelujah. So is it in our own lives. There are things that come forth that should not be Israel. That's why we have to be careful. We have to be diligent and we have to take out or destroy all those things that do not please Almighty Yahweh. So it says here in verse 18, thou should not suffer a witch to live. What is it talking about here? It is talking about that which is against Almighty Yahweh. Those things that we should not suffer to, leave, to live, the weeds, the things that try to cry out the fruit of Almighty Yahweh and the zira that he has planted in our lives. Many times in the garden, if you notice, if you till, if you work in the garden, it seems like the plants you don't want or the weeds are the ones that seem to grow the fastest yes, and produce themselves in abundance. So you cannot be slack when it comes to weeding out those things. So is it with our own lives, Yisrael. It says we cannot suffer a witch to live, or those things that do not honor Almighty Yahweh. It says, whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. That is an abomination before Almighty Yahweh. Just as it is an abomination for man to lie with mankind, a woman to lie with womankind, Yisrael. It is an abomination before Almighty Yahweh. It says, he that sacrifices unto any gods, save unto Yahweh. And we know that Yahweh, he is not a God. He is the creator of all things. We're not going to diminish him to these gods which cannot hear, which cannot speak, which cannot heal Yisrael. These things that have been formed by our own hands, Yisrael, they must be destroyed and cast out. It said that he shall utterly be destroyed. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him. For we were strangers in the land of Mizraim. It says, you shall not afflict any widow or that which is fatherless child. If thou afflict them in any wise, and they cry all unto me, he said, I will surely hear their cry. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, with the Torah, with my judgment. And your wives shall be widows, and your children shall be fatherless. Do we want Yahweh to destroy that which is the firstborn of our nephesh, Yisrael, that which has come forth from his bosom? That's why we, even as ought, we must be caretakers of the assembly, Yisrael. If thou lendest money to any of my people that is poor by you, you shall not be unto him as a usurer, neither shalt thou lay upon him usury or expect more than what was borrowed, Yisrael. If thou at all take a neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver it unto him by the, sun, by the going down of the sun. For that is his covering only, and it is his raiment for his skin. Don't you know Yahshua should be our covering only, Israel? He is our raiment. He clothes us. Wherein shall he sleep? And it shall come to pass that when he cried unto me, I will hear him, and I will be merciful unto him. Verse 28. Thou shalt not revile, thou shalt not reveal the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. And it says here in verse 29, which I want to get to concerning Ibn Yahshua HaMashiach. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy right fruits. These are commandments. These are mitzvah that, Yah, that Almighty Yahweh commands unto the house of Yisrael. And of thy lacquers, or the wine, for the firstborn of thy sons shall you give unto me. Yahweh has given unto us his firstborn, Yisrael. Yeah. So we should not withheld or withhold anything from him. Why would we, Yisrael? Yeah. Seeing all he has committed unto us, the fulfillment of his Torah, yeah. all of the promises and Mishra, Yisrael, yeah. why would we not, or why would we come into his assembly empty and not being full yeah. of the fruits or the offering that he desired, the meat offering, the first fruit offering, the offering of the wheat and of the barley, Yisrael? Yeah. And there's a particular offering that I do want to get to, if you will turn with me, concerning the foolish, Milo. Numbers chapter 18, 
verse 1. Now, I'm going to read this entire chapter, Yisrael. And I will expound upon this because it's, it's very important that we understand and that we know what Yahweh is saying even here in Numbers chapter 18, verse 1, concerning the offerings. And I will break it down unto us that we may understand Yisrael. We know that Yahshua HaMashiach, he is our offering. But yet, we must bring into the bayat of Almighty Yahweh the offering that is due unto him, the offering of praise. I don't think, it should not be a hard thing for us as being Kedushim Yisrael to offer our mouths, open our mouths in the presence of Almighty Yahweh. We come in stiff and hard as if we cannot move. Don't you know that Yahweh has made us free? We are at liberty in his house, Yisrael. Hallelujah. To move in the Ruach, to dance, to sing, and to shout. We have victory. And Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says here in Numbers chapter 18, verse 1. And Yahweh said unto Aharon, You and your sons and your father's house with you shall bear of the iniquity of the bayat, of the house. Hallelujah. We know that Yahshua HaMashiach, he has bared for, he is our high co-in, Yisrael. And he has bared for the iniquity of Yisrael. You and your sons with you should bear the iniquity of the Kohen's order, of the responsibility that has been given unto them. And your brother also of the tribe of Levi, Levi, and the tribe of your fathers, bring it with you, that they may be joined to you and minister to you. But you and your sons with you shall minister before the tabernacle of witness. What is our witness tonight, Israel? You know, we are both Kohen or ministers or carriers of the Mishnah of Almighty Yahweh. So should we negate our responsibilities? Should we come into the house of Yahweh empty, Yisrael? It said, this shall be of the most Kodesh things reserved from the fire. Every oblation of theirs, every grain offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs. Every trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, or shall bring or offer unto me, shall be most Kodesh before you and before your sons. What is the offering that we should bring before Almighty Yahweh that is most Kodesh, Israel? It is not our sin. It is not our unwillingness. It's that which is Kodesh before him. It is not our lies. It is not our hypocrisy, Israel. It's not walking in the fullness of our own flesh. That is not acceptable before Almighty Yahweh. It says here, in the most Kodesh place shall you eat it. Every male shall eat it, and it shall be Kodesh unto you. This is yours. This is your part. The heave offering. What is that saying, Israel? It sounds like a certain type of grain or something of that nature, if, if you would just read across that. But what that is saying is any or every offering that is acceptable in the sight of Almighty Yahweh, whether it's the meat offering, whether it's bringing an offering of money to the bayat, most importantly, it's how we bring it, Israel, that we don't bring it grudgingly. Holding it to ourselves, Yisrael, yeah. but that we bring an offering as about a sacrifice in his presence, Yisrael, yeah, freely. Yeah. Wanting to bring it. Yeah. Have prepared to bring it. Yeah. And it is a delight unto us to bring an offering of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Of Todah. Yeah. Of Barak. Of hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. To him, Yisrael, yeah. that's what he desires. It's not the offering of the bullocks or the blood, Yisrael. That is not what he wants. Because even at that, yes. the remembrance of the residue of sin yet remains in the flesh and in the nephesh. But because of Yahshua HaMashiach, all that has been abolished, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Because of him, we can come boldly before the throne of Almighty Yahweh. But still there is a procedure that we must partake of, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He said, in this, he said, in this is yours, 
the heave offering of their gifts. With all the wave offerings of the children of Israel, I have given them unto you. Is this talking about the place of the Kohen, Israel? Yeah. Yahshua HaMashiach, he is our high Kohen, Israel. Yeah. So we should bring everything at the feet of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. All that we have, yeah. all that we ever can be in him, yeah. hallelujah, and everything that we are, Yisrael, we should bring it all unto him. And it says, and your sons and your daughters with you by a statue forever. Everyone that is clean in your house shall eat of it. Don't you know that Yahweh has rendered us through Yahshua HaMashiach, his high calling? We are clean, Yisrael. So we are able to eat of the precious offerings and the fruit, not only of Almighty Yah, but from one another, from Yisrael. And I will prove that as I go on, Yisrael. You know, even out, out of all the 12, 12 tribes, they all had a responsibility. And in that responsibility, everyone working together, Ekai as one, brought forth the perfection of Almighty Yahweh. So even at this time, as Yisrael would bring the offerings to the Kohen and their labors, they worked in the fields, yes. carpentry, whatever they done, yes. and they brought forth the offering. That was their responsibility. Yes. And it was the Kohen's responsibility to offer these offerings as sin offerings, yes. offerings unto Almighty Yahweh. But don't you know, Yisrael, we could do all this. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. That each tribe, and Yahweh has not left out anyone, is able to bring an offering tonight into his house. Hallelujah. He wants the first fruits, Yisrael. He wants the first fruits, Yisrael. The first breath. When your eyes are open, he wants to be the first thing that you see. He wants to be in those first thoughts, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 12, as we move on. And the best of the oils... And all of the best wine, as you notice, it's saying the best. The best, Yisrael. Has not Yahweh given us his best? He has given us Yahshua HaMashiach, his Torah, which was made flesh. The best of the oil, the best of the wine, and of the wheat, and also the first fruits. The Rashid, the first fruits. What is that, Yisrael? Let me define that unto us. It is the first or the beginning. It is also the best or the chief. And the choice part. So they brought the best. We should bring our best, Yisrael. Of the offerings of the first fruits that Yahweh has given us. And it, co- it goes on saying that of them which they shall offer unto Yahweh, no matter what it was, of the wine, of the wheat, of the oil, or of the first fruits that shall offer to Yahweh. He says, them have I given unto you. Oh, beautiful, yeah. It has been given unto us, Yisrael. Yeah. Just as those things, a certain part of the offering that came from Yisrael yeah, was given unto the Kohen, he said, I have given a certain part that you may partake of, yeah. that this is what I would give you. Why? Because in that office, they didn't work as um, the other parts of Yisrael or the other tribes that had been anointed of Almighty Yahweh. They had a specific place and a specific duty which had to be done. So this was given unto them that they may eat and that they partake, partake of Yisrael. And whatsoever is first right in the land which they shall bring unto Yahweh yeah. shall be yours. Don't you know Yahweh has given us of that which is first ripe of the land, Yisrael? I know it seems repetitive, Yisrael, but Yahshua HaMashiach, he is our all in all, Yisrael. He is of the first fruits of Almighty Yahweh. He is of that which has come forth from his bosom, his best, to give for us, Yisrael. He said, unto everyone that is clean in your house shall eat of it. Everything devoted in Yisrael, it shall be yours. Everything that opens the matrix or opens the womb of all flesh, which they shall bring unto Yahweh, whether it be of the sons of Adam 
or whether it be of beasts, it shall be yours. Yeah. Nevertheless, the firstborn of the sons of Adam, it says you shall surely redeem. Yeah, that's what he said. Don't you know that we have been redeemed, Israel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are this firstborn unto Almighty Yahweh. Have not Yahshua redeemed us? Did he not even follow the steps that Yahweh have commanded, even in this reading, Israel? He had done everything to the T and to the till. And the firstlings of the unclean beast you shall redeem. I know that I was an unclean beast. I was not fit for anything, Israel. What do we have to offer before Almighty Yahweh? It's only by his mercies. It's only by his election, Yisrael, that he has chosen us, that he has redeemed us, that we may be fit in the presence of Almighty Yahweh. Verse 16. And those that are to be redeemed are to be padal. That is to ransom. Or ransom has been paid for, Yisrael. To secure. We have been secured, Yisrael. To deliver. He says, from a month old, you shall redeem according to your estimation for the money of five shekels. After the shekel of the Kodesh place, which is 20 garhas. What does it say in your translation? Does it say that in your translation, Israel? Yeah. That is the proper Hebrew form of that expression. Gare or gara. Yeah. That is a weight, or it's the 20th part of a shekel if we was to break that down, Yisrael. Or equal weight of 16 of barley grains or of that of carob or beans by weight. Yeah. All right, that's what that is, Yisrael. So is Yahweh precise? Yeah. He does not Pinch off anything, Israel. He gives unto us of his fullness. Of Yahshua HaMashiach. So he desires that of each one of us tonight. To give all of our minds, all of our hearts, all of our nephews and our being unto him, Israel, fully. Not reserving anything for the flesh. Hallelujah. But we should give unto Yahweh of everything, of all of our essence, and that which he has given unto us, Israel. He, he desires of us the first fruits of that which he has given. As we move, move on to verse 17. But the firstlings of a cow, or the firstlings of a sheep, or the firstlings or the first fruits of the goat, it says you shall not redeem. They are Kodesh, or they are acceptable to be presented as an offering unto me. As thou came, ben and expressed unto us, have we brought the meat offering before Almighty Yahweh, which is acceptable? And what did he say that was? It was to please Abba Yahweh in all things. Don't you know he is pleased when we mention his name, when we declare his name, when we ascribe unto him the honor that is due Yisrael, when we lift up our voices in the tabernacle, when we lift up our hands in the presence of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. He said, these are your first fruits that you shall offer, offer unto me. Hallelujah. You know, it, if it is a hard thing for us to lift up our hands, to shout unto Almighty Yahweh, if we cannot do that in his body, then we have brought to him nothing. We have not brought an offering unto him, Israel. This is the time of abundance. Not only re of revelation or revealing of the abundance of Yah, but even the abundance of which that he has given us, Yisrael Yah. That we have taken care of his mitzvah. That we have grown from this time last year. And we were able, to, or we are able to bring more. Yes, yes. Have we brought more, Yisrael Yah? Yes. Hallelujah. That's what he desires. That's what he wants for people. It is simple, Yisrael Yah. It is not hard, and if it is hard, it's because sin lies at the door. It's because the iniquity that lies in the land of Israel. It's a simple thing to lift up our hands. Our hands that has been cleansed. Without any guy, without any sin, Israel. To lift up our voices. 
Hallelujah. He has given us breath to lift up our voices, Israel. He has given us feet to dance. These are the offerings that Yahweh desires of the house of Israel. These are our first fruits that we offer unto Yahweh, Israel. Hallelujah. Even the workings of our hands, what we put our hands to, it should be blessed, Israel. Hallelujah. He, so he said, you should not redeem the first of the cow, the sheep, or the goat, because it is Kodesh. You shall sprinkle the dom of their blood upon the altar, and shall burn their fat for an offering made by fire, for a sweet-smelling savor unto Almighty Yahweh. Where's the fire tonight, Yisrael? Do we have the Ruach HaKodesh, the fire? Hallelujah. 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 So let us present our offering unto Almighty Yahweh with fire. That our praises, that our lips, that the movement of our bodies, the lifting of our hands, the stopping of our feet, Yisrael, to be a sweet-smelling savor unto Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what he wants, Yisrael. That's what he wants us to work toward. To lift him up more. He wants more, Yisrael. And he wants the first fruits. Hallelujah. Verse 18. It says, and the flesh of them shall be yours as the, as the wave breast. And as the right shoulder are yours. It says in verse 19, And the heave offering, or the terumah, the heave offering. Let me describe or explain that to you, Yisrael. It is contribution or it's the offering. Any offering that is acceptable unto Almighty Yahweh. An offering unto Yahweh. An offering of grain. Money, etc. Whatever we have brought full heartedly unto Almighty Yahweh tonight, Yisrael, it is acceptable. Hallelujah. He is well pleased of the, that we have brought the first fruits before him, Yisrael. Of the coldest things which the children of Yisrael shall offer unto Yahweh, I have given unto you. Don't you, don't, don't you see how Yahweh within the 12 tribes, where everyone is doing their responsibilities, everyone partakes of the offering. Yes, yes, yes. That which is given, everyone is able to eat of that or possess that, the great riches of Almighty Yahweh. And your sons and your daughters with you, it says by a statue forever. It is a covenant of salt or a savor before Yahweh. To you and your Zira that are with you. And Yahweh, he spake unto Aharon, You shall give no inheritance in their land, neither shall you have any part among them. Why? Why did Yahweh declare that? He said, because I am your part. We have no place in this land, Yisrael. Hallelujah. We know that the earth is Yahweh. And also the fullness thereof. It already belongs unto us, Yisrael. But this should not be our hope and our aspiration to possess these things or these tangible things, Yisrael. Why? Because Yahweh, he is all that we need. Yahweh, he is our inheritance. He said, I am your part. I am your inheritance among the house of Yisrael. He is our part, Yisrael. He is our portion. Verse 21. And behold, I have given the children of Levi. Is that one of the 12 tribes of Yisrael? Even though it's a 12 tribe, aren't we conclusively a whole Yisrael? He said, I, Behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth of Yisrael for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. What is our service, Yisrael? What is that we have to render unto Almighty Yahweh? Hallelujah. What is the service unto him? What is the offering that we give unto him, Yisrael? That's what he desires. That's what he wants, Yisrael. Verse 22. Neither must the children of Yisrael henceforth 
come nigh unto the tabernacle of the congregation. At this time, just anyone could not come unto the bayet or unto the most Kodesh place. But Yahshua HaMashiach, he has rent those veils, Yisrael, y'all. We can come freely into the presence of Almighty Yahweh this evening, today, wherever you're listening this time, Yisrael, y'all. It says that they should bear their iniquity, that it shall be a statue forever throughout their generation. And amongst the children of Yisrael, y'all, it said they should have no inheritance. That's what he said. Hallelujah. But we have an inheritance, Yisrael, y'all. Yahweh has made us able through Yahshua HaMashiach to come before his throne boldly. Hallelujah. Boldly. Why? Because we know him. He has given an offering that we cannot offer of ourselves, Yisrael. He has given Yahshua HaMashiach. Verse 23. But the Levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear the iniquity. And they shall be a statue forever throughout your generations, that among the children of Israel, that they have no inheritance. But we have an inheritance. It is Yahshua HaMashiach that has bared the iniquity for us all, Israel. The first fruit of Almighty Yah. Verse 24. But the tithes of the children of Israel, which they offer, as a heave offering, that is anything that is acceptable unto Almighty Yahweh, I have given unto the Levites to inherit. Therefore, I have said to them, among the children of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. Because it's in him. It's in Yahweh, Israel. And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, Thus speak to the Levites, and say unto them, When you take of the children of Israel the tithes, which I have given to you from them for your inheritance, then shall you offer up a heave offering also unto Almighty Yahweh, even a tenth part of the tithe. Should we still tithe, Israel? We, yes, we should. We should give a portion. We should give a part, Israel. Of no matter what it is, our responsibilities in the house, as a people, as a congregation, Verse 27, and this, your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you as though it was the corn of the threshing floor. That is important, Israel. And as the fullness of the wine press, the fullness of the wine press, not anything lacking, Israel. It would be acceptable unto Almighty Yahweh. Thus, you also shall offer a heave offer unto Yahweh of all of your tithes, which you receive of the children of Israel. And you shall give, therefore, Yahweh's heave offering unto Aharon the Kohen. Who shall we give our heave offering this day, Israel? Of the abundance of what Yahweh has given unto us. We should give all unto Yahshua HaMashiach. We should give all unto Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Out of all your gifts, you shall offer every he offering unto Almighty Yahweh. Of all the best thereof. The best thereof. Even the hollow part thereof out of it. That is everything. The inward. He wants that which is inside Israel. But not only that, he wants of the outward part. Should we come before his presence dead, Israel? Or should we present our bodies a living offering unto him? He desires both the body and the ruach, Israel. Therefore you shall say to them, when you have heed of the best thereof from it, then it should be counted unto the Levites as the increase of the threshing floor and of the increase of the wine press. And you shall eat of it every place. You and your household, are we not the household of Almighty Yahweh? We're the household of Imunah Yisrael. So we should take part in this. For it is your reward for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. And you shall bear no sin by reason of it. And when you have heed of the best of it, neither shall you pollute the Kodesh things of the children of Yisrael, lest you die. Hallelujah. 
So we cannot bring or offer any polluted thing no, or sin in the presence of Almighty Yahweh Yisrael. Because we know that after sin is finished, it brings forth death. It brings forth separation from Almighty Yahweh. Yes. Hallelujah. So we must present those things that are acceptable unto Almighty Yahweh, the first fruits. The tithes. It's, that's all inclusive, Yisrael. And it's all important, Yisrael, that the whole house of Yisrael may be partakers. Has not Yahweh made every Adam, every man, a partaker of Yahshua HaMashiach? But especially the household of Almighty Yahweh. Yahweh, he is just. Yahshua, he gave his life, the Torah says, for every man. But it was especially to the house of Yisrael. So we are without excuse. Hallelujah. Yahweh has made his offering for us in Yahshua HaMashiach. He has given us of the first fruits of his bosom, of his Dabar. Let us move on, Yisrael. To Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 13. I do want to read. Hallelujah. Todaya. Now this is concerning the blessings unto Kol Yisraya. All right? But I'm going to drop in the middle of this, Yisraya, just for expedience. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 13, concerning Yosef. But this book, it mentions the blessings of the tribes of all Yisraya. But I want to start here. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 13. And of Yosef, he said, blessed of Yahweh be his hands. For the precious things of Shemayim's, for the dew, and for the deep water that stretches out beneath. And for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun. That's how the fruits are brought forth. The trees, the plants, they need the sun, Israel. We need Yahshua HaMashiach. That we may bring forth the excellence of Almighty Yahweh in this hour, Yisrael. That we may bring the precious fruits by the sun and for the precious things put forth by the moon. Even in the night season, Yisrael. Don't you know the beauty of the plants? They not only grow in sunlight, but they also grow in the darkness. Did you know that? There is even a more expedient process in darkness. Why? Because they long for the light. Yeah. They'll wait for the morning, Israel. Yeah. We're in a dark season. We're in a dark time, Israel. Yeah. And we as a people should be growing expeditiously yeah. as we await yeah. the light, the coming of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. That we may bring and offer these precious fruits oh. that he desires, Israel. Yeah. The first fruits. Yeah. And not only that, but that we have the abundance that he is coming and looking for, Yisraya. So even in the darkness or by the moon, verse 15, and for the chief things of the ancient mountains and for the precious things of the everlasting hills and for the precious things of the Olam of the earth and the fullness thereof. This is the time of fullness, Yisraya. This is a time of bringing the first fruits unto Almighty Yahweh. And all the extra shall be put aside in the storehouse for Yisrael. This is a time of abundance. This is the time of harvest, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He said, the earth and the fullness thereof. And for the pleasure of him that dwell in the bush. Let the blessings come out of the head of Yosef. And upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. Verse 17. It says, his magnificence is like the firstlings of the bulla, the strength, the power. Hallelujah. Yeah, we are the firstlings of Almighty Yahweh. His strength, Yisrael. His Torah has been placed in our love, Yisrael. The Torah is the strength, it is the power, it is all of all by Almighty Yahweh and Yahshua HaMashiach. So even as like the firstlings of the bullah, if you ever watched the, 
the calf, as it comes forth, within hours it's able to stand and walk around. And before you know it, you see that thing just trotting around, prancing, seeming to almost dance before the presence of Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael. The strength and the beauty in that, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Not only that, but it says, and his horns are like the horns of a wild ox. Strong, sharp, piercing. They use him as a defense. Yahshua, he is our defense, Yisrael. It says, with them, he shall push the people together to the ends of the Olam. And they are the ten thousands of Ephraim. And they are the thousands of Manasseh. Verse 18. And of Zebulon, he said, rejoice, Zebulon. In your going out, and Issachar in your tents. Yes, they shall call the people unto the mountain. Yes. They shall offer a zabak, a sacrifice of zadik, a righteousness. Yes. That's what we shall offer, Yisrael, yes. unto Almighty Yahweh. Yes. An offering of righteousness. Yes. For they shall suck of the abundance of the sea yes. and of the treasures hid. In the sand. Don't you know that there are things that Yahweh only gives unto his house, Israel? The treasures of the sand. There are archaeologists and people that dedicate their very lives into finding treasures, all those things that are hidden deep. But they will never find the things that Yahweh has given unto Israel. Hallelujah. It's only for us, it's only for Israel. Hallelujah. Verse 20. And of Gad, he mentions Gad also. He said, blessed be he that enlarges Gad. He dwells as a lion and tears the arm with the crown of his head. Who is our crown, Israel? Yes. This is concerning the whole house. Yes. We're not divided as a tribe. Yes. Hallelujah. Even here are you that are listening. Yes. We are of the trail tribe. We are Israel. Verse 21, and he provided the first part for himself. Yes. Did it say the first part? Yes. For himself, Israel. Yes. Because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated and came with the heads of the people. Yes. He executed justice of who? Of Yahweh. And his judgments with Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So even in the judgments, even in Yahweh, judging our every act, our every move, Israel, he even gives us of the first of his Torah and of his Misvat. Moving on to 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh has given us his bosom unto a people that really have, we have nothing to offer of ourselves, Israel. Yeah. But Yahweh has given of the first fruits of his labor, Yahshua HaMashiach, his Torah, to even face affliction, to be tried, to be sent upon the state, Israel, yeah. and even seemingly to the eye to die. Don't you know that a seed in its essence is dead? It is dried up. There is yet no life until the water is absorbed, Israel. Hallelujah. Until the Ruah enter in. We are but a dry house and a dry people, Israel. Until Yahweh, as he done through Yahshua HaMashiach, Pour out his Ruach upon us, Yisrael. We should be waiting upon his Ruach tonight, Yisrael. That he may pour out his Ruach upon this parched, dry land. Upon his Zerah, upon his seed. That it may bring forth life tonight. That it may bring forth the strength of Yahweh's bosom. As being the firstborn of Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael, through Yahshua HaMashiach. 
It says in 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8, Give Toda unto Yahweh. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Come on, Israel, y'all. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Hallelujah. His name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing songs unto him. Take you of all his wondrous works. Hallelujah. You in his Kodesh name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh. Do we seek Yahweh tonight? Come on, Israel. Do we seek Yahweh tonight? Do we seek Yahweh to bring unto him our first fruits? The first fruits of our labor. The first fruit of the seed that he has placed in us, Yisrael. Seek Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face continually, Yisrael. Remember his marvelous works that he has done. His wonders and his judgments from his mouth. Verse 13. Look what it says here. O you, Zerah, you seed of Jerusalem, his servants. You children of Yaakov, his chosen ones. Hallelujah. I'm glad he has chosen me tonight, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He is Yahweh, our sovereign master. His judgments are in all of the Olam. Be you mindful always of his covenants. Yes. The word which he has commanded to a thousand generations. Yes. Has he commanded it, Israel, his promises, his word? Has it failed us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shall never fail, Israel. That is an expression that it shall never fail. Yes. We cannot even comprehend that a thousand generations. But yet even at that his misfire, his word, it never fails, Israel. Even of the covenant which he has made with Abram, and of his oath with Yitzhak, yes. and, his, and has confirmed the same to Yaakov for a statue, oh, yes. and to Yisrael for an everlasting covenant, saying, Hallelujah. saying, to you will I give the land of Canaan. Yes, he, shall. he shall give his yes. most precious Land unto us, Israel, the rich, his possession, his first fruits, and the lot of your inheritance. Don't you know we have inheritance tonight, Israel? He said, When you were but few, and even a few, and strangers in it, and when they went from nation to nation, and from kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yahweh will not suffer any man or by the hands of man, the house of Israel, to suffer wrong, Israel. So there, sure there are certain things we must be afflicted with and that we must endure, but it will not be by the hands of the enemy, Israel. Yes, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, touch not my anointed, and do my prophets, my nabi, no harm. So what should we do, Israel? We should sing unto Yahweh. Hallelujah. Sing unto Yahweh all the earth. Show forth from the day to day his Yasha, his deliverance, and Yahshua HaMashiach. Declare his splendor among the heathen, his marvelous works among all the nations. For great is Yahweh, and greatly to be, hallelujah, to be lifted up, to be exalted, Israel. He also is to be feared above all gods. Above all gods, Israel. What is that? The God of your belly? Your insurance God? People have more hope in their insurance. And it's all a facade. It's all money-making scam, Israel. But they have faith in their insurance claim. They're not giving them a dime. Hallelujah. But we have our insurance in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. And we cannot lose Yisrael. Verse 16. 
verse 26, chapter 16. It says, for all the gods of the people, they're worthless, forbidden idols. But Yahweh, he has made the Shemayim. Grander and magnificence are his, in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Is this Yahweh's place, Israel? Yeah. Has not he written his name yes, he in his bayat, Yisrael? Yeah. Give to Yahweh, yeah. you kindred of the people. Yeah. Give unto Yahweh great honor and strength. Oh, yeah. Give unto Yahweh yeah. great honor that is due unto his name. Yeah. Bring an offering. Oh, yeah. Is that what it says there, verse 29? Yeah. Bring an offering. Have we brought an offering, Yisrael? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And come before him. And worship Yahweh in the beauty of Kodesh. The beauty of being set apart. The beauty of this beautiful time that he has given us, Yisrael, to bring these first fruits in his presence. Fear before him all the earth. The world also should be stable. That it not be moved. Let the Shemayans be glad. And the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nation, nations, Yahweh, he reigns. Hallelujah. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Every part, every piece, Yisrael. Let the fields rejoice and all that is therein, Yisrael. As we go on, then shall the trees of the woods shout at the presence of Yahweh, because he comes to judge the Olam. Oh, give Toda, give thanks unto Yahweh for he is tough, for he is steadfast, and his loving kindness, it endures forever. Don't you know we have received the first fruits of his loving kindness, Yisrael? Yeah. Let's go on to Tehillim, chapter 16, verse 5. Tehillim 16, verse 5, Yisrael. Oh, we must give Toda unto Yah. That is our offering. That is our first fruits unto him. We bring our bodies as a living offering unto Almighty Yahweh. It says in Tehillim, Psalms chapter 16, verse 5, that we, he proclaimed that Yahweh, he is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. He says, you upheld my lot. The lines are falling to me in pleasant places, yet I have a beautiful heritage. I will bless Yahweh who has given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night season. What are our reigns, Israel? Is it not the Torah that instructs us? Is it not the Torah that leads us? Did not, was not Israel led by a pillar of cloud by day and a fire by night, Israel? I have set Yahweh always before me because he is my right hand and I should not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my ruach rejoices. My flesh also, do you hear that? My body, my flesh also rests in hope. Verse 10. For you will not leave my nephesh, my soul, in Saul. Neither will you suffer your Hasid, Kedushams, to see corruption. And you will make known unto me, unto Yisrael, he has made known unto us, Yisrael, the path of life, of Hayil. In your presence is fullness of joy. Don't you know we're in the presence of Yahweh? Were there two or three gathering? He said there he is in the midst of his congregation. And he says, in your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. They're the first fruits of Almighty Yahweh. Yahshua HaMashiach, his word dwells in the midst of Yisrael. To Helium 24, verse 1, as we move on tonight. Hallelujah. Of the fullness of Almighty Yahweh. He has given us of his first fruits, Yisrael. To Helium 24, verse 1. The earth is Yahweh's, 
and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For Yahweh has founded it upon the seas and has established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the mountain of Yahweh? Who's able to ascend into the mountain of Yahweh? Or who shall stand in his Kodesh place? It says, he that has clean hands and a pure, sincere left, who has not lifted up his nephesh or his soul unto vanity, nor swore deceitfully. He shall receive of the blessings from Almighty Yahweh and righteousness from Yahweh, the sovereign master of his salvation, of his Yesha. This is the generation of them that seek Yahweh, or seek him, that seek your face, O Yaakov Shalai. He says, lift up your heads. Lift up your gates. And be you lifted up, you everlasting doors. For the king of splendor and of honor, he shall come in, Yisrael. His ruach shall dwell amongst us. He shall pour out his ruach amongst the house of Yisrael. For Yahweh, he is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads. Lift up, you gates. Even lift them up, you everlasting doors. And the king of splendor and of honor, he shall come in. Who is this king of splendor? Who is this king of honor? It is Yahweh's host. It is his word. It is his Dabar. It is his promises in Yahshua HaMashiach. He is the king of splendor and honor. Moving yet again to Helium chapter 50, verse 7. To Helium chapter 50, verse 7. Hallelujah. It says in Tehillim 50, verse 7, to Shema, Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Yisrael, and I will testify against you. He said, For I am Yahweh, even your sovereign master. He said, I will not reprove you for your zabat or your sacrifices or your burnt offerings to have been continually before me. He said, I will not take no bullock out of your house. He said, I, not re- I will not receive a bullock out of your house. Nor he goats out of your fold. For every beast of the forest, it already belongs to me. It is mine. So what shall we bring unto Yah? He says, and of the cattle upon a thousand hill. He said, I know all the fowls of the mountain. He know all the fowls of the mountain. You hear that, Yosef? He knows them all, all the fowls of the mountain. And the wild beasts of the field, they are all mine. He said, if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine. So what do we offer unto Yah? He says to bring forth the first fruits, bring him an offering, anything that is received unto him, freely is Yah. But he said, all belongs to me anyways. He said, if I were hungry, I will not tell you, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs unto Yahweh. He said, I will eat the flesh of the bullocks, nor or drink the blood of goats. Will he do that, Israel? Will he eat the flesh of the bullocks, or will he drink the blood of the goats? He says this in verse 14. Offer unto Yahweh what? Thanksgiving. Toda. That's what he wants, Israel. That's what he desires. Offer unto Yahweh, Toda, Thanksgiving. And Shalom, pay your vows to the Most High. Hallelujah. You must pay your vows, your tithes, your offerings before Almighty Yahweh. And call upon me in the day of trouble. He said, if you do this, I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. That's what Yahweh wants at this time, Yisrael. He wants the praises. He wants accolades. He wants all of your love and all of your heart, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Let's go on to Yachahan, John chapter 1, verse 1. I do want to begin reading here, Yisrael. 
Hallelujah. I'm not going to hold us much longer tonight. But this is a wonderful time. And the abundance of wisdom and wealth of knowledge that is in Torah, even concerning this time, is enough to keep us busy forever, Yisrael. It is unending. Hallelujah. Yachahan chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with Yahweh. And the Word was Yahweh. The Word is Yahweh. The same was in the beginning with Yahweh. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. In him is life, Yisrael. And the life was the light of men. This is his first fruit. This is talking about the first fruits of Yah. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from Yahweh whose name was Yachahan. The same came after a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. What do we bear witness of tonight, Yisrael? Have we come to bear witness of the light, Yahshua HaMashiach? Hallelujah. That is not of ourselves that we are able to cease from sin. But it is by this light, Yahshua HaMashiach. That was the light of truth, verse 9, which lights up every man that comes into the world. He was in the world, but the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. This is talking about the first fruits of Yah, his word. It came into the world to enlighten the world, to give the world life, but we knew him not, Yisrael. He come to his own, his own received him not. But as many as received of him to he, he gave the power to become the sons of Almighty Yahweh. Yahweh has given us the power to become the sons, Yisrael. Yahshua has given us the power to become the sons of Almighty Yahweh. And to them that believe by Imuna on his name, which are born, not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of Almighty Yahweh. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. This is the first fruits of Yah. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his splendor and the splendor as the only begotten son of Almighty Yahweh. Yes. Yes. Full of free unmerited favor and truth. Yes. That's what it was full of, Yisrael. Yes. That's what we should be full of, Yisrael. Yes. The splendor of Almighty Yahweh, the light of Almighty Yahweh, Yahshua HaMashiach. It says in verse 15 that Yachahan bear witness of him. And he cried, he proclaimed, he didn't hold back, saying, This was he of whom I have spoke. He that comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we Receive. We have received of the fullness of Yah. We have received of the blessings of Yah and Yahshua HaMashiach. And the free unmerited pardon and the free unmerited pardon of Almighty Yah. For the Torah was given by Moshe, but the free unmerited favor and truth came by Yahshua HaMashiach, our Messiah. Verse 18. No man has seen Yahweh at any time, the only begotten son of Yah, which is of or in the bosom of our Abba. He should be in our bosom also, Yisrael, this first fruit of Almighty Yahweh. He said he has declared him. Who do we declare tonight? Do we declare Yahshua HaMashiach, the first fruit of Almighty Yahweh? He has given up his first fruit, Yisrael. The essence of his bosom, of his self, all that could be put even into this body, Israel. Romeo, chapter 15, verse 25, as I bring this to a close. Hallelujah. It says in Romeo, chapter 15, verse 25. But now I go to Jerusalem. 
to minister or to proclaim this tough news to the Kedusha. For he has pleased them of Macedonia and of Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor Kedusha, which are at Jerusalem. Yes, yes. Even the poor was considered Israel. We should even consider the poor even at this time. As I came, ben did read concerning even taking up as the harvest, that we leave that for the poor to take upon Israel. That's the commandment of Almighty Yahweh. It has pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister to them in carnal things. With therefore I have performed this, I have sealed to them this fruit. Did you hear that, Yisrael? Yeah. The tough message of Yahshua HaMashiach. This fruit. He said, I have sealed to them this fruit that I will come by you to Spain. Verse 29. He said, I am, sh I am sure that when I come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessings of the message. This is the fruit he's talking about of Yahshua HaMashiach. For now I beseech you, brethren, for the master Yahshua HaMashiach's sake, for the love of the Ruach that you strive together to be in your prayers, for me to be in your prayers, to Yahweh for me, that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Yahuda. And that my service, which I have for Jerusalem, may be accepted of the Kedushim, that I may come to you with joy by the will of Yahweh and many with you be refreshed, Israel. We desire the refreshing of Yahweh. And even in this, he declared that I bring it to you. I bring the refreshing to you tonight, Israel. And this first fruit, this fruit of this tough message of Yahshua HaMashiach, yeah. hallelujah, that he has redeemed called all Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is the last book I'm going to read tonight, Yisrael. I want this message to be an inspiration to us, Yisrael, that we strive with all that is within us this time next year, even to bring more of an offering to Almighty Yahweh of the shouting, of the dancing. Hallelujah unto Almighty Yahweh. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 9. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his tough pleasure, which he have proposed unto himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Yahshua HaMashiach. All things in Yahshua HaMashiach. All Yisrael, all trail tribes, all the firstborn, the first fruits of Almighty Yahweh. Both which are in the Shemayims and which are on the Olam, the earth, even in him. And whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will. He works all things after the counsel of his own will, Yisrael. That we should be to the praise of his honor. That's what he wants, Yisrael. That's the fruits he desires. He has given his zira, his seed in us, that it may grow, that he may receive unto, from us the praise of his splendor, of his honor. Who first hope in Yahshua HaMashiach, in whom you also trusted. After that, you heard the word of truth in the message of your Yahshua, your salvation. And whom, after, and whom also after that you have believed. You are sealed. We are sealed, Yisrael. What do, you, what do you do with the fruits that are left over from the harvest? You want them preserved, do you not? So in the time of lack or famine or winter, 
You can go to the storage facility yeah. of the place, and you can eat of that when there are times where there are no fruit bearing, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. So he says here, so what do you do? You either dry the fruit to preserve it, or you seal it. You can it. So he says here, in whom also, after you believe, after we believe, Yisrael, by Imuna, after we have believed, you are sealed with the Ruach HaKodesh of promise. We have been preserved. We have been sealed, Yisrael. And my last verse for tonight, which is the pledge of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchase of the prized possession to the praise of Almighty Yahweh, to his honor and unto his splendor. Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are the first fruits of Almighty Yahweh through Yahshua HaMashiach. Those that have received of his Ruach, Yisrael. We have been preserved by him unto the end of all things, that we may be presented as all of his labors, all that he has been put into this house, yeah. that, we may pre, that we may present unto him our first fruits. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because that's what he wants, Israel. Yeah. That's what he desires. Not the blood of the bullock, yeah. not the meat offering, yeah. but simply the praises from the house of Israel. Yeah. And that we give unto him, coal, all of our substance. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Unto him, Israel. Yeah. So let us give all unto oh, Yahshua, yeah. Hamashiach. Everything, not lacking anything, cold, Yisrael, the first fruits of all that we have unto him. Hallelujah. I pray this has been an enlightenment for you, Yisrael, tonight. You know, it's a beautiful thing that we could gather, most importantly, Yisrael, in one place together. If we would do that as Yahweh has commanded us, if we would stop coming with our own revelations yeah. and our own thoughts, what we want to do or what we perceive, the Yahweh, he will pour out his reward freely upon us, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. So that is our desire. That is my desire for us tonight, Yisrael. Yeah. That he will fill us until we're running over, Yisrael. Yeah. That we may have the oil, that we have the wherewithal to endure all things as tough warriors. Hallelujah in this fight and in this battle. Amen. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Before we close tonight, let's have another song. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teshua singers, let us come up. Let us have another song tonight, Yisrael, yeah. as we bring this to a close tonight. I do have a few announcements to make after this song. Hallelujah. Oh, All the first fruits of Yah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
has gone down. Hallelujah. to always offer unto Yahweh the first fruits. It's not just the time and the season, Israel, Yah, but every day, every moment is the time and the season for us to perfect Kodesh, the set apartness in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet, Israel. Yah. Hallelujah. Let us shoot. Abba Yahweh, we do tell you for this night you have given us, Abba Yahweh, that we were able to come and gather whether it be in this bayat tonight or whether it be by Viv live stream, we do told you, Abba Yahweh, for your presence that had dwelt in the midst of your people tonight. We do ask Yahweh you would take those that have come from there and for a far home safely. And those that were not able to come, Abba Yahweh, you would encourage them, those that are sick, that are facing ailments in their bodies, Abba Yahweh, that you would heal them tonight, Abba Yahweh. That you have sent, that you would send your ruah to your people and you will heal them, Abba Yahweh. And all things we do give you toda, and we give you reverence, and we lift up your voice. And we lift up our voices, Yah, as our first fruit offerings as unto you, Abba Yahweh. In all things, in Yahshua HaMashiach, we do give you praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Yahweh! Hallelujah, Yahweh! Hallelujah! Hallelujah.